Hi again, welcome back to my channel. I had a couple of questions um, that I wanted to give some quick answers to, and then I want to share a little story with you about uh, how these energies are running so fast. I think you'll find it very interesting. Uh, so the first question I had is, uh, somebody was asking me, what does it mean when my body is constantly buzzing? Like, uh, it feels like I have a, a vibrator stuck inside of me because my, my body is vibrating and buzzing. That is what happens when embodiment starts to happen, which means that the soul self is starting to fill the field. So higher self is coming in, we're coming into embodiment. And this means that our human essence and our soul self start to merge and become one. Okay, so that budging is the merger of those two. It's unification process or the embodiment process. All right. So there's nothing to be worried about. That's a natural part of the process. It's showing you that you are in the embodiment phase where uh, you are starting to merge the soul with the human. And so the higher self is going to be taking over and driving the bus. Okay. So that's a very, uh, very good thing. All right. Um, so the second question had to do with um, the uh, energy field and being light and floaty feeling uh, like this light floaty sensation, um, almost like where you could fall over uh, because you um, feel so light and airy. That floaty feeling is what happens when we start to hit the higher timelines like that 5D uh, uh, fifth dimensional consciousness where it almost feels like gravity starts to go and we start to feel just very light and floaty. Uh, it's very blissful feeling um, and it, uh, it, it feels like our head is in the clouds, okay? So if you're feeling that way, um, you know, don't be alarmed. That is a part of this process where you are starting to ascend up the chakra column, up the uh, uh, ascension column and up into the higher dimensional states of being. And when we do that, everything kind of wishes up and then we get that very heady feeling and very lightheadedness. So nothing to be alarmed with. It's where the higher self again is making contact with us as you know the lower uh, 3D distorted dense field is starting to pull out. So we're feeling lighter and we're feeling heavy, uh, that headiness, okay? And we want to feel that, that's where we want to head. We don't want to ground into Gaia anymore because Gaia is in her physical ascension. I did a, med, uh, a video on that a couple months ago. And so we don't want to ground into Gaia anymore because Gaia cannot support our, uh, our connection in that way. We are actually shifting the uh, realms of earth, right? And I've talked about this in a couple of videos where we have the 3D model of earth, and then there is an overlay to the 3D model that is the 4D template, and then we have the 5D template. We have all of these inner or outer realms, if you will, these realms of, uh, of consciousness on the earth, right? So right now, uh, for those of you that know me, you know I've been working with the fairies a lot lately, which is not the norm, because normally for me it's the galactics, but the fairies have been coming through really wanting to connect and have some time because the fairies and the elementals are working with Gaia to heal her field, heal the earth, uh, raise the frequency, bring more light in. So anchoring light to Gaia, which helps support our process. So that's what Gaia is really focused on now is anchoring in these new earth realms. So how we assist with that is to hold a higher vibration, uh, make sure that we're meditating in a, a higher aligned way, that we're connecting into our higher self, that we're doing things that support our light body, that are supporting our 
uh, day-to-day experience, eating foods that are benefiting us, uh, you know, green leafy foods, uh, vegetables, naturals, organics, getting plenty of water, staying hydrated, uh, making sure that we're, we're getting enough sleep, right? So these, these earth, these new earth realms are uh, being created uh, so that they can support and sustain uh, our ascension process and our evolution, all right? So it's very important that we assist and support um, the fairy realm and the elementals in this process. Um, so now something interesting that happened, I was on the phone with a friend of mine last night and um, she recently lost her husband, um, not to COVID, it was uh, due to uh, some health issues that he had. But uh, when we were talking on the phone, uh, she's always been very connected and uh, very connected to the galactics as, as was he. And he crossed over at a very, very high level. Um, these are individuals that can actually see uh, third dimensionally and can see through walls and stuff like that. So these were very, uh, very knowledgeable uh, individuals. And I was on the phone with her last night. We were talking about some things that she's experiencing with feathers materializing out of thin air because that's his way of, um, you know, playing right now with her uh, as he's learning to use his, his energy over there and his, his uh, powers that be on the other side. And which is really not another side, it's all here present now. But um, anyway, so we were talking about how he was uh, materializing these feathers. Uh, and then, so they would start to materialize and she would see them and she'd see the evolution right in front of her of this feather materializing right in thin air. And then it would evaporate again. And so we were talking about how that was happening because that is a part of uh, our ability, right? We just don't know that we can do that, but that is our ability to be able to materialize um, things in, uh, in the quantum field. So we're talking about how, you know, these feathers are uh, just showing up for her and then they're disappearing. And I said, well, soon he's just going to leave. Uh, he's going to create the feather as it's coming through. You're going to see it materialize. And then the feather is going to fall out of thin air onto the ground. And I know that there's a term for this uh, where you can materialize crystals right out of thin air and, uh, and feathers and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. But I can't remember what the name of it is. So if somebody out there does know the name of it, please drop it below because I would really appreciate it. Um, I just, it's not coming to me right now. And so we're having this conversation and we hang up the phone and uh, I have been talking to her about, you know, my move moving and, and how that's, uh, how that's uh, feeling as it's aligning with my, uh, with my um, higher self and my universe. And I came downstairs to uh, tell my friend, you know, about the conversation that we had and telling her how her, uh, this other friend's uh, husband is materializing these feathers and then they kind of disappear. So with that, I go to bed and I got up this morning very early to let the cats out and went back up and tried to catch a few more hours of sleep. And then I got, just got up again because I couldn't sleep anymore. And I think it was like six o'clock in the morning. So I um, come downstairs, uh, have um, something to drink and I'm sitting, my friend is up now and we're talking and we're talking again about the feathers and how funny that whole situation is and how cool it would be to man be able to materialize a feather out of thin air. And I go back up to my room and I go to take my um, slippers off because I'm going to head to the shower and start my day. And I look down at the spot where I put my slippers on and there was nothing at the floor. But now when I go back up into my room, there is a feather on the floor right in the area where I would have put my slippers on. Now I don't have a 
down pillow or a down comforter or anything like that in my room. And in the two years that I've been living in this house, I've never had a feather show up in my room. So I thought that was very interesting and I kind of marinated on it while I was in the shower. And you know, the showers are always our portal for uh, all that is. It's where uh, we connect um, in many different ways to our higher self and higher consciousness, the quantum field, right? Cause the shower has got the water in it and the whole nine yards. So I get out of the shower and I go back to my room and I'm blowing my hair dry. And I look at my curtain and I think I see what looks like a very big spider on the back end of my curtain. So I take the curtain, I flip it and I look behind the curtain and it's this huge fly, right? It, I mean, like it was, it was a big fly. It was really big black fly. And I'm like, what are the chances there would be a fly here? I mean, it's 30 degrees out. I haven't had a fly in the house since the summertime. And where the heck did this fly come from? And so the minute I let all of that go and cleared my head, I heard fly on the wall. And I thought to myself, oh my God, that's so funny. I bet you that is another message from her husband that he was a fly on the wall listening to our conversation about the feather. I need to let her know that this is from him um, because he is... Uh, going to be working on the other side to um, create some magic and share some magic. So I get on the phone with her and she's like, oh my goodness, you give me chills because that would be just like him to do something like that. Um, because, you know, he, he would want to uh, assist support and come through in that way. And of course we talked about the feathers last night. So I thought that was really a, a cool story to tell because I want you all to understand how intensified this energy is and how quickly this energy is moving. The manifestation process is no longer manifestation. It's instantaneous materialization. That's how it works now. We're no longer having to focus like we used to on manifestation. If you are focused in your heart center and you are streaming consciousness throughout your entire inner being uh, with a desire that you have, then you will start to be able to manifest what it is that you need, right? So the old steps of manifestation look like this. So we'll take ice cream. So uh, if you think to yourself in, in under the old process of manifestation, uh, you know, years ago, it would be like, oh, I really want to have an ice cream. Oh, I really want that ice cream. All right, I'm just going to get in my car and go to the store and buy an ice cream. Then this, the next level of manifestation would be to think, boy, I, I really, really want an ice cream. I really would love to have ice cream. You know, I wish I had ice cream. And then your friend calls and goes, so I'm having a really rough time. And I thought I'd come over with some ice cream and maybe you could help me, uh, you know, sort it out. And you're like, yes, I was just thinking about ice cream. And so your friend comes over with the ice cream. That's the next level. And then the level after that is a little faster and you're sitting, you're thinking, you're wanting ice cream and now you have a craving for it. So you have an inner desire and that desire is really craving that ice cream. I have a desire for ice cream. I didn't have any in the freezer, but let me go take a look and see if I have ice cream in the freezer just for the heck of it. Maybe I forgot I have some. And there you open the freezer and instantaneously the manifestation is there because now it's materialized uh, through the quantum field, right? Where we're in the field of infinite possibilities, anything can exist. So the next step beyond that would be to really stream that desire to have the ice cream in such a, a very significant, intense way that you think to yourself, boy, I would really love to have ice cream and you put your hand out and then ice cream appears in your hand. That's instantaneous manifestation or materialization, right? And then the final way that we would uh, experience ice cream, I don't think is a way that anybody would want to experience it is, is through, man, I really wish I had some ice cream. And then all of a sudden you have the taste in your mouth that you taste the ice cream and it 
feels like and tastes like you've just eaten ice cream. And so that would be even the highest level up of, of that materialization, okay? So why am I explaining this to you? I'm explaining this because I really want you to understand how fast this energy is moving, right? That feather, when I put my slippers on, was not on the floor next to my slippers, okay? When I came back to my room a half an hour later, that feather was sitting on the floor of my room in its, in its manifestation, uh, which shows you or me or all of us how fast this energy is moving, okay? So when we have a challenge come up that makes us emotional, the worst thing we could do is to sit and dwell in it. Why? Because the energy stream wants to just take that, that emotional challenge and just pull it away from your field. It wants to just pull it out of you. It doesn't want you to sit and hold on it. It doesn't want you to sit and marinate in it. It doesn't want you to sit and fester in it. It wants to come to the surface. It wants you to recognize it, go, oh my gosh, I feel horrible. I'm thinking about this time in my life when I uh, whatever. And, oh, I feel so horrible. And let yourself have that moment of feeling horrible so that it can pull out of your field and you can let it go. Okay. That's what's happening right now. But I will tell you that if you hold on and root in to that pain and suffering, which is what us humans like to do, because quite honestly, that's how we've been trained and we really don't know any other way then you're going to have a really, really challenging time uh, moving through these next couple of weeks in this higher energy because the magnetic fields of the earth are shifting, which requires us to just roll with whatever is coming up, right? And we cannot hold on to anything. We have to just roll through it. We just have to move through it. There is no, you know, going into the darkness of what was. We can't do that anymore. We just have to let it clear our field. There's no other way to do it, okay? And I promise you what's on the other side of this is gonna be magical. Do not get caught in the stories. Uh, stories do not serve us, okay? Do not get caught in any ideologies that are not in alignment with uh, unity consciousness, right? So if something is presenting and it offers you separation, do not engage in it because that is not on your timeline, right? Separation is what we are healing. We are healing separation. And that's a huge distortion that's running right now out there in humanity, okay? So we want to be really, really careful where we're placing our energy and make sure that we're always creating in the highest timelines. We're always creating as a divine co-creator with our universe. And we're not creating things that we do not want. I do not get engaged in any kind of entanglement with anything that is coming through in a lower vibration. If somebody is creating something that is not in alignment with where I want to be, I do not choose to engage, okay? I'm always looking toward the higher timeline. So if you want to navigate these energies with grace and ease, pay attention, check in, how are you creating, okay? We have to pay attention to everything that we are thinking, everything that we are speaking, and everything that we are doing. We have to be in complete alignment, which means that we have to be in a present moment state of being. Okay, so I hope this information helps in some way, shape or form. Uh, to those of you that have been tuning in, thank you so much. I really appreciate your continued support. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, just uh, if you found this content uh, helpful in some way, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when I have more uh, videos coming out. And the best thing that uh, you could gift me is to share this video with others who might be struggling and need this content, need the help, um, because, you know, sharing is caring, right? So um, thank you again. Uh, I wish you a wonderful whatever it is that you're doing and know that I love you so, so much. Thank you so much. I look forward to our next journey together. Bye-bye.